So I figured out a new way to draw a three-dimensional neuron, and I'd like to show it to you. So it's really easy. I'm gonna. Okay, so we're going to click on the ellipse tool. We're gonna hold the shift key so that we can make a circle. And I'm gonna do the fill. Let's just do um, a green for right now. And I'm gonna hold the alt key to zoom in. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the um, the different uh, neuron branches. I'm going to go over to the pencil tool. So I'm going to uh, first I'm going to unselect the circle, so click away. Then I'm going to click on the pencil tool, and I'm going to uh, hold the shift key. So you see how it has a horizontal line. That means I'm going to draw a straight line. So I'm going to click and then hold, and it's just going to draw a straight line. And then with my, I'm going to make sure that pencil is right over that endpoint. I'm going to release the shift button and then draw a branch smooth. That's a little too smooth. I'm going to delete that line, press enter. And okay, it's right about the spot that I want it to be, which is um, one point away from being completely smooth. So let's draw this again. I'm going to hold the shift key, draw it down, and release. And I'm going to make it a little more jagged. Okay, so like that. And I want to make this uh, outline to be the same color as the fill. And I'm going to increase it to, I don't know, about, it's to 8. I'm going to go over here to Appearance. If you don't see the Appearance, go up to Window, and then go down and click on Appearance. So I'm going to click over to Appearance. I'm going to go click on Stroke, click on Round Cap, and then click on Round Joint. That's going to smooth the things out, make it look a little more organic. I'm going to remove that. Now, a nice feature is I'm going to first click the, the selection tool and then click the pencil tool so that whenever I hold control, I can just click away and draw a new line. Okay. And I can click away, draw a new line. Now, this is similar to an earlier video that I did where I'm drawing a neuron, but I'm going to do something a little different. It's going to make it look really cool. The other way was fine too. You don't have to draw it this way, uh, the, the new way that I'm going to draw it, but um, I kind of like this, uh, this 3D effect. And this is using a new feature. So I'm just drawing, right now I'm just talking as I'm drawing these lines. But it's a new feature um, using the new 3D um, thing that was just added not too long ago. So just making a lot of branches here. Now what I'm doing is I'm drawing on branches that I didn't previously. So like I drew over here, then I drew over here. I'm going to do that on purpose um, because if I try to redraw here, it's going to it's going to redraw that line instead of drawing me a branch. So it's okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to highlight everything. And I just like in the other video, you know what? I think I, think I want this to be so I'm, I'm going to select everything, hold shift, and then unselect the circle. I want these lines to be a little thicker. Let's do 10. Okay, let's do 10. And let's go through and let's correct this. Let's make this a little smoother so that it joins up. Let's highlight, let's select both of those and move this over just so it looks good. This one I'm just going to redraw. So I selected it and then I used my pencil tool to just kind of correct it. I could do that for all of them, um, but sometimes just moving it works just the same. So this one I'm going to redraw because it would. Uh, overlap it wouldn't look good no matter how I did it looks pretty good now I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna select everything and then I'm gonna go up to object expand it's gonna say fill and stroke I'm gonna say okay so what it did is it created the, it turned changed those lines into actual fills so they're like extended rectangles 
Now I want to merge all of these, so I'm going to go to the Pathfinder, and I'm going to click Merge. And it's going to make it all one continuous object. So you can see it's this one continuous object. Now I'm going to add this new feature. It's really cool. It's, I'm going to go up to Effect, and there's 3D materials. Now the 3D, 3D um, uh, effects have been there, has been in an Illustrator for a while, but they've just updated it and added uh, all these new features here. So I'm going to add this, this new feature called Inflate, and that's going to do some really cool things. So let me select away. So notice what it did is one you can if you've had any experience with the 3D effects, um, you notice something's quite a bit different that's going on. Notice that it's pixelating everything because what it's doing is rendering it for you. It's actually rendering the pixels, which is quite a bit different than what Illustrator has done in the past. Uh, it's kind of nice. I like it. So, but what Inflate did is it took that line and it basically like blew it up like a balloon and inflated it and it turned what was a flat object into a tubular object. Well, it's not really a tube and you'll see that if I click on it. So just make sure you have this, the selection tool. You click on it, you'll see this little target sign. It's not really a target. What it is is um, it's, it's giving you uh, the ability to rotate this object in three-dimensional space. So you can see that it has, uh, what it has done is it's really just kind of cut this thing in half. So it's flat on the bottom and it's kind of inflated up on top. Okay, let's click on it so I can get this back. Okay, I want to reduce that amount that it inflated. by clicking on it until you see these uh, numbers show up. I'm going to make this five point inflation while it's rendering it. And I think that five point inflation looks pretty good. So what? It, so now this is a three dimensional neuron. It's really cool because you can kind of spin it around in space. And, um, and so you can kind of actually, as you put your cursor over, you can see the original object and then again, with all the 3D effects, this is a 3D uh, property that is applied to this object. I can actually remove that 3D aspect by clicking on Appearance and just making that 3D thing in, invisible. And I, that, this allows me to kind of manipulate the individual points and it will uh, modify that object when it's appeared in three dimensions. That's why I like this Appearance window over here on the right because it does that. So anyways, they're, it's really cool. There's a three-dimensional neuron there and you can uh, rotate it in space and uh, look at it. And um, you know you can change the lighting over here and you can change the rotation of the lighting if you, if you really want to kind of make certain areas lighter than you want. And I mean, there's just all sorts of things you can do. I don't know why it keeps disappearing. So then you can change the height of the light. So this would, this would be like as you're rotating, as the sun's kind of, it's going all the way from the horizon all the way up to the sky. So if I click on it, this would be the height. You know, this would be at the horizon. And then this would be, you know, at noon. Anyways, you can play. There are many different ways you can modify you know, the ambient light, um, you, there's also some presets up here. But that's how you draw a three-dimensional neuron um, in Adobe Illustrator.